Greetings to my subscribers, as well as new viewers. Today I want to show you some historical photographs of the 19th century, causing great distrust of historical events. But before T begins my story, I want to turn to you with my request. Let's take a look at this old photo. What do we see here? We see here, an old building that remained after the global flood, and in the foreground, the silhouettes of standing people. Look closely. The first thing that caught my attention was, that the people are depicted as ghosts. Although they stand in one place and this is clear from their postures. But the lantern itself is very clearly visible. Some of you will say, but it's the exposure of the frame, that affects the clarity of the image. And perhaps, you would be right, but only the figures do not move but stand still, which means they should look as good, as the building itself in the background. Look at this couple floating in the air. It is more contrasting in comparison with the rest of the ghostly figures. Why did the author, seek to create the presence of people in the overall picture? What do you think about this? The next photo is of a cook on a street in Istanbul. At first, it seems like a good photo, but let's take a closer look. These pancakes on the table look like they are painted. A little to the right of the pancakes, we see some kind of box, probably it serves as a stove for heating the bowl, and all this also looks unnatural. The chef himself is in the foreground, as if not out of this picture. The general image of the foreground seems to be a clipping from another photograph, in other words, a photomontage. The man in the background in the lotus position, in my opinion, looks painted in a foggy haze under the visor. These two men, why are they better drawn than the one to the left of them? Does the photographer's camera really decide, that the one to the left, is not so interesting, and you can lower the quality? Before us is a photograph of old London from the 19th century. A more precise date, unfortunately is not specified. You just have a look. A beautiful busy street in the city. But here, there is something more interesting, than just the movement of the pieces. This man in the lower left corner is drawn rather unnaturally, including his own shadow. As for me, he is not from this frame. This trio of two civilians and one policeman, cast shadows that are not natural. Suppose these two shadows lie naturally. Then, what happened to the shadow of the policeman, who is only three steps away from them? What happened to the shadow of this wagon? It is located in such a way, that such a thing can only be seen on a summer afternoon at its zenith. And right there, we see two men behind, casting their shadow one hour ahead. How can this be? The upper part of the building on the left side, does not fit into the general tone of the landscape. I'm inclined to believe, that this is an insert from another picture. And the edited pixels are also visible here. Now, let's move on to the right side, of the photo. Here is also no less interesting. How do you like the view of these buildings and these blurry figures at the bottom? Looks terrible, right? A little to the left we see a wagon relatively in focus, but literally 10 meters to the right, there is some kind of mess with focus. And what about this building on the right? It again, not from this history. Why is it more terrible in quality than the others? But it does look better than the shapes below. And of course, the shadows are here, again wandering on their own. You might say, that this is a terrible lens for a camera. How then did the photographer, manage to photograph the British Museum so well? Look, this photo, was taken in the same time period. Just look at this incomprehensible figure, that walks alone, and seems to be pushing a baby carriage in front of him. But the baby carriage, is on a par with the height of the pusher. This looks pretty weird. In other matters, like the image of this man in the background, he is clearly not from this picture. Now, I propose to move to a warmer country called Italy. Before us is a photograph, the Square of Martiri, the city of Naples of the 19th century. What do we see? Everything is also a busy street of the city. 
Again horse carts, people who are moving somewhere. And here, I again saw a strange setting. Look at these boys. They look like inserted pictures. And the man behind them, is generally like from a cartoon world. Agree, it looks quite funny. Specially trained people probably think, that everyone will believe in this photo montage. What do we have, in the lower right corner? These two men, obviously look like an inset picture, however as do the three who are slightly to the left. There are other obvious signs of unnaturalness in this photo. Check it out in more detail, by clicking the link in the description. Of course, at first glance, the photo does not raise questions among the majority of viewers, and this is understandable, since many of us take any information received from official sources at face value. After comparing the old photo with the actual facts, some differences were found. Building on the left, increased by one floor. On the first floor of the corner entrance, the text denoting the pharmacy has changed from English to modern Italian, however as well as the appearance of the entrance doors. Behind the monument in a photograph of the 19th century, we can still see the building of the church, where a Celtic cross flaunts on its top. But in modern history, this building is no longer there. It is rather strange that such a beautiful structure, in comparison with other standing buildings, is erased from history. The next mysterious photo, is also presented by specially trained people, as a historical photo. Before us is the night view from the balcony of Doja's palace. I call this photo mysterious, because it breaks all the laws of the geometry of shadows, or in other words, the incident beam. Looking at this photo, we understand that the moon is shining in the night sky, but look at the falling shadows from the columns and railings. They are completely out of proportion. In this place, the shadow seems to bend in a flat floor, and these shadows from two columns seem to rush to another place. But in reality, I have never seen such a thing. And here is an example of a photograph in sunlight. Unfortunately, a similar image in the moonlight was not found. I propose to make it in the moonlight format. What do we see here? We see, that from the light source at any distance, the shadows are perpendicular and there is absolutely no curvature. So maybe the artist of this photo was trying to convey something different to us. Or does the artist of this photo, want to show otherwise? What do you think? In this photo, we are shown one of the buildings in the city of Vienna, the capital of present-day Austria. Look carefully. I had the impression, that they used characters from some cartoon. This looks funny as well. And we are presented with this, as historical black and white photographs. Or this one, also the capital of Vienna, on one of the central streets. These guys in the lower left corner look unnatural, the quality is so inconsistent with the photo that it is highly questionable. Look also at the shadows from people and standing objects. The shadows are directed at different angles and different contrasts. In this part, you can clearly see how buildings and people are drawn. Is it a photo? My opinion, is that this is not a photograph at all. Next we have a photo, with men from Cairo. The front background with the guys, raises almost no questions, whale, with the exception of very mysterious and kind eyes. No, it's certainly great, they have a great mood, but their eyes are simply mesmerizing. But what is no less interesting, is that their contours stand out strongly from the background. I watched for a long time and could not understand. Is it a pasted background, or what kind of photoshop is it from the 19th century? What are your thoughts about this photograph? Let's continue our trip to Egypt. The next stunning photo from Port said. The skilled craftsman tried his best to convince us, that life in those times the 19th century was hard. Everything was created from a swamp and sticks, and the situation was also saved by small horses and mules, which helped people in everything. 
I must say that he almost succeeded in this. Perhaps, in a black and white newspaper it would have passed under a standing ovation for the photographer. But in our time, we can consider in detail how someone tried to present the general story in a different format. Pay attention to this valiant four musketeers. Take a closer look. These guys are clearly not from here. Anyone who is at least a little engaged in graphics, has already noticed, that here is the usual photomontage and rather poor work. I will show you a couple of details, that immediately catch your eye. In addition to the fact, that the guys look unnatural against the general background, I noticed a slightly glowing halo around the heads of these guys. A whitish haze is clearly visible. Also in horses along the contours of the legs, one can see in some places a white halo. In reality, you will not see this in the photographs. At the end of this story, I propose to look at this interesting photo. The photo shows one of the streets of Dublin, Ireland. The year of shooting is 1875. At first glance, again a normal black and white photograph, where there are even some blurry moving objects. I found here interesting and strange moments. For example, quite dubious flagpoles of these flags. The wagon to the left, which in comparison with the others, has a large blur as a result, you can't see who is pulling it at all. The inscription on the left side of the photo is not complete, which means the photo was cropped. What for? But the most interesting part for me is. It's a guy in a cap, a 20th century leather jacket, and jeans. Then I decided to ask Google about this photo, and see if there is something similar. Indeed, on one of the sites, scrolling down the page, I find the same angle and the same street called Stevens Green, but this photo is from 1870. That is five years older. After comparing both photos, I saw that the building, which is closer to us, remained the same and completely coincides. The next building, we can say that it has changed quite a lot from the outside. There are no triangles above the windows. Two large balconies were removed, but the entrance steps remained unchanged. The next building was completely redone from the outside, including the attic on the roof. In this part, there is no visor above the columns. Further, we can say that everything is identical. In the old photograph, we do not see the flag on the building, just as there are no flags on this building. On the right side of the photo, we can see that the bollards along the sidewalk are almost identical, except for the missing ones at the turnoff in the older photo. Identical forms of tree crowns are also clearly visible in both photographs. It seems that in fact the photos were taken with a slight difference in time. Comparing the modern street with old photographs, it turned out that the same street from the photograph of 1875 is radically different. Perhaps, this is the end of my story. Please write, what you think about this. There was a substitution of photos, or something really in history was different. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It will be interesting.